Hey folks, welcome back to High Plant Repertoire. Today I am going to share 15 of my pantry staples. Currently I have featured approximately 70 recipe videos on this channel. And today I just wanted to briefly share and give you a quick snapshot of 15 items that I consider to be my pantry staples. These are definitely not the only staples I have in my pantry. I of course have certain spices and jarred items and other canned items that I wouldn't want to be without. But today I just wanted to focus on these items that I consider made a big difference in my transitioning to more of a high plant-based diet. So first off, I have my tea. The first significant dietary change I made was actually almost a decade before I cut out meat and increased my whole food intake. I cut out pop altogether cold turkey one day, that's a story for another day, but I find I like to have plenty of tea bags on hand. I can drink it hot, drinking it that way is very soothing, I can drink it ice cold, that way is very thirst quenching, it's definitely a beverage option I like to keep on hand. I personally like to add a tablespoon of agave nectar, so I keep that on hand. It's a natural sweetener I like to sweeten my tea with, and as you've seen from some of the recipes, a natural sweetener for many plant-based snacks and desserts. The B12 enriched nutritional yeast is a must for me now. It is an essential ingredient for some of my favorite savory and creamy recipes, such as my creamy vegan avocado sauce that I make every week. The nutrient-packed chia seeds and flax seeds are staples for me now. Now I buy and keep the whole version of these seeds and grind them only when I'm about to use them to keep the integrity of the nutrients. You've seen me use these in plant-based desserts, smoothies, and more. The top three canned foods I like to keep on hand are the pumpkin puree, coconut milk, and cannellini beans. These foods are, are great to have in your whole food arsenal. They're extremely versatile. You've seen these items used in my recipes like the pumpkin pie balls for dessert, vegan pasta sauce, and the healthy plant-based chipotle cream sauce. Dates are an item that I had never even tasted before I started this journey. I actually wasn't even sure if I could eat them. I suspected I could be allergic. Luckily I am not. Now I've learned to use dates as a natural whole food alternative to processed sugar and other sweeteners for some delicious recipes, such as my chocolate chia bliss balls. I'll link that recipe at the end or in the description box below. Potatoes, beans, pasta, and lentils. These four items are lifesavers. They check the box for satiety. I always like to have a five pound bag of potatoes in my pantry. They're so versatile. I can bake them and have a loaded baked potato. I can cut them up and throw them in the air fryer for delicious homemade french fries. I can boil them or add them into a homemade soup. I can mash them for homemade mashed potatoes. Pasta goes without saying, comfort food to the max. Boil some pasta noodles and while waiting, whip up some homemade plant-based pasta sauce and you're good to go. Beans and lentils can be added to just about any dish, making it high in fiber and other nutrients, making it heartier and more filling. Brown rice. Personally, to be honest, I'm not a fan of most rice except white rice and Spanish rice. I cannot stomach aromatic rice. In addition, in the past, I had always preferred white rice to brown, but luckily, brown rice is not aromatic, so I've been able to utilize it more and come to love it in the respect as an ingredient in some recipes. I most often use it when making my homemade rice milk, which I have two how-to recipe videos on this channel. And last, but definitely not least, are oats. Arguably the most popular ingredient I use in some of these recipes. I'm not sure, but it feels like half the things I make calls for some oats. Thus, it's definitely a pantry staple here. 
It's called for obviously an oatmeal, homemade oatmeal, pancakes, breakfast cookies, even in my creamy plant-based salad dressing. Breakfast muffins, waffles, desserts, and more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join me on this journey as I try to build a healthier and kinder cooking repertoire.